Hello and welcome back folks to the Translated Fusion Minis. This is episode 20 and this time I am talking about the paint note, a very neat little feature if you ask me. As you can see I have already loaded in this nice little picture which was shot the other day on a nice location scouting trip with my buddy Yusuf. Let's say we would like to use it as a backplate for our new composition, because why not? But there's one thing in the picture we would like to get rid of, that's where we need the paint note. This is it. Let's take a quick look at some of the available functions. For example, you have different apply modes. This color mode here is doing something like this. Yeah, okay. Undo that. And what I would like to do now is to clone a specific region to get rid of this um, lantern here. First, let me zoom in so we can all see this a little better. And then, like you might know it from Photoshop or um, GIMP, maybe, you can use samples of your picture, like I do it here by holding down Alt and then left click, to paint over parts of your picture that might not look right. And it's good practice to not only uh, get one sample and then paint over the whole thing, simply because it wouldn't look right. Because nature. <laughs> okay, take your time, get some nice samples and then paint over the areas that don't look right for you. Here I am zooming in a little more and what you can see is that it's hard for me to really get this uh, railing edge right because of the softness of the brush. That can be changed simply by lowering the softness. So, yes. <laughs> okay. And yeah, well, something like this. Boom. This looks good. Okay, and that's about it. My lantern is gone. Of course, that's not the only thing this paint note can do, but honestly, for me, painting out unwanted objects is the most interesting and important part. And I can do this right inside of Fusion. I don't need to uh, first open my image in GIMP, Photoshop or whatever and um, then save it again and re-import it, blah, blah, blah. I can do it right here, which is pretty cool. All right, like always, I hope you liked this episode. If so, please give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you completely dislike it. See you then, bye.